Hey everyone, I'm Gordon from Grin, and this is Cole, and today we're at EV's headquarters in Vancouver. And why we're here today is because we're going to present to you our Satiator charger and our new adapters that we're releasing for them that can charge different electric scooters, electric skateboards, electric unicycles, and all sorts of different things. I can't hold my excitement back about this charger because this charger is the king of chargers. It can charge any voltage battery from 24 volts to 100.8 volts. So that's gonna cover a huge range of scooters and a huge range of EUCs. There is very little standardization in the industry and there are so many connectors and voltages that you're dealing with. You can have one device that charges them all. So when I'm in the back of the shop and I'm charging all the EUCs and scooters, this is just the EUC bin that I have here. So I'm hunching around through all these chargers, they're missing their power cables, some of them are broken, some of them aren't. It's so hard to keep track of all of these. If you have a satiator, you got one charger, you got all the digital profiles on it that are programmed for all your devices. If you got multiple EUCs, multiple scooters at home, you got an e-bike at home, you can charge all of them just with this one device. One of the best features in the satiators is that you can custom program in charge profiles for each of your device and you don't even have to do it for full charge. You can do partial charging, 85%, 90%. And one of the benefits of doing that is it actually increases the cycle life of your battery by two, two to three, three times. times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's also silent. A lot of the other chargers that come stock with their device, they have a very, very noisy fan. So if you're charging your device in your bedroom or in the living room, that white noise, it can get annoying really fast. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> if you have a fan charger that has a fan running and that fan goes bad, well, guess what? Your charger is going to die because the components are going to burn out from heat. But in this charger, the charger is designed to dissipate the heat through the heat sink passively with no fan. And so because of that, your charger is going to last a lot longer and it's also going to have a water resistant design. Some people even mount these on their e-bikes when they ride around. And we didn't only just make these four physical cables. We also had to custom write a firmware update for the satiator so it can charge with the unicycle charging system. As a guy that repairs things, another thing I appreciate is the massive warranty that Grin provides with this charger that they QC in-house and they've designed themselves here in Canada. This charger comes with a whopping three-year warranty that's gonna cover anything of a manufacturer defect. So to start, you're gonna have your satiator charger here and it's gonna have the standard XLR cord on it and then you're gonna have your adapter. This one, we're using a five pin adapter because we're charging a Sherman S. So you can plug your adapters in there. Now we've got the Sherman S plug on it. We look at our charge ports here. One thing that's quite interesting about UC charge ports is they are exposed. And so the software inside the EUC won't allow any charging until it sees some sort of safety signal from the charger. And the firmware in the satiator can provide that signal to allow charging to start. It's charging, it's telling us the charging voltage, it's telling us the amperage of the charging, and it's going to tell us how long it's been charging for and how many amp hours and watt hours have gone into the battery during this charge. You can also monitor how many cycles you've done charging with the satiator, how many watt total watt hours you put out, and there's also a graph showing you the voltage curve of the charge cycle here. All right, so now we finished charging the Sherman S here, and we're gonna switch over to an electric scooter. This is a different voltage, but you won't have to worry about that because all the voltages will be programmed in the profiles here on the satiator. We're gonna switch it over to Mantis 8, and we're gonna switch from the five pin connector to the three pin. And now all we have to do is plug it into our scooter charge port. And we've started charging. So if you're an owner of an array of light electric vehicles, or you just wanna have the best charger and a dependable charger for your one vehicle, the Satiator is the way to go. 